guys, it's Queen Yuja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 3 and 4 of Oni Managatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 3 in 3, 2, 1, go. I think big sometimes, yes. Go lay down. Go lay down. So you better do something quick and fast in a hurry. Girl, I mean, damn, I thought she was gone, gone. But I had a weird feeling that she was still there, lurking in the shadows. Because she's fucking creepy as hell, but you gotta love her. Is it weird that I want to see these two fight again? Oh, am I getting my wish already? Yes! <laughs> okay, so I did find out that Shinobu is a VA is a singer, but it's still fucked up that she won't be able to sing in this because, you know, I was expecting every single girl who voice acts in this show to sing, but I mean, it's different, and I still love this opening. It's probably one of my personal favorites for all of the openings besides my best girl's other opening, which will, no, my best girl's opening, which will come soon is i know we're getting closer and closer to it every single episode i go into but when that comes our achievement is gonna be the best day ever but i mean okay essentially i kind of figured that she wouldn't know what the darkness is and stuff so i mean they're back at square one what the fuck can you do and if they don't fucking hurry everybody's gonna be gone include like mm, not really including them but everyone that they really will I got even really cared about catching up. I feel like she and we don't give no two shits about everybody except maybe said Johanna. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Let let's not be like the other Patreon shows I'm currently doing right now. <laughs> Three little girls, damn it. You know, just calm down on the fucking lollies. I mean, we know we both had a field day when we saw Lolly Hanikawa, but no. <laughs>
Well, of course, I love her more. So look, Shinba's second. Mayo is third. But then if we're talking about like donuts and everything, I uh, mean, yeah, she would Thank God. Jesus. Oh, God. Agaragi, what the fuck? <sighs> you poor girl. <laughs> what Mozart to my ears? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, I'm stuck on her. <laughs> really? All three of you? <laughs> I can't, what the fuck? Why do I feel like after this that these three little girls are just well no, they can't Shinobu can't even hang out with them because she's always with Akinagi. <laughs> well that sucks. Cause they they probably be like really good friends. What's up, best girl? <clears throat> but in a way, she still is an old hag. In, in a lolly. You know, body. <laughs> Can we just call her diabetic donut loving? I mean, shit, that's too long. Donut loving vampire. Because <laughs> that's sometimes what I call her.
Yeah, but the thing is, we still don't know what to deal with it and how to get rid of it. Hopefully, these last two episodes give us something. What's her face, right? The high yield chick who also knows what you know? Guy knows what you know. So, we gonna go to her now? Or, oh, fuck. Take, take, take the lollies! Huh? Will you just shut up and jump? Yes! No worry. How the hell do you not know where you are? Girl? One of my best girls, I swear to God. Probably a couple hours. <laughs> Twelve fucking hours. Jesus Christ. I mean, wouldn't it just be better for him to walk somewhere where he can get range, like to call someone, you know, Hanakawa, my other best girl, his sisters, Kanabu. These are the times when sometimes I fucking wish Ocean no fucking didn't go anywhere. Go ahead and do something. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and she should automatically be coming out at night. And that was one thing I kept wondering, even when they, like, when he automatically woke up. Yeah, but I don't think she hates you. The don't like, yeah, because hate's such a strong fucking word, so. 
Not like you, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again. Hey, my eye. No. Basically, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then where the hell is she? Is aware that this place gives me Madoka vibes when they were sitting in the room in Cuba. But how though? Cody, go lay down. No. No. Yeah, so then why the hell isn't she exactly? So, is there a way? <laughs> but then is there a way to get her back, though? Mm. So, you're telling me she's- so What the fuck? She's there by herself. Yeah, because uh, I mean, no offense, like y'all three, I know out of the three y'all, two y'all can do shit. What do y'all can't? <laughs> One of y'all is just a snail, so. <laughs> Then you, oh my god, but then he can't do shit either! <laughs> my second best girl is the only one who's able to save her! Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, but still, you're screwed. We need to do something with us. That's good. Twenty. <laughs> it's okay. They'll all understand. They're like this is dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, puppy. I kind of figured that too. Because in a way, every adult we've met has had a connection with Oshino and being in that club. Okay, girl. Yeah, you! The chick who fucking taught to, um, Hanagawa, right? Yeah, you know, like, several, uh, pieces of God damn. I didn't think it was her. I mean, cause, like, because, like, you think I'm gonna remember everybody's name? Yes, a little bit, yes, a little bit, no, but still. Okay. So, Shinobu, she's gotta be fine. It's just, now we gotta figure out how the hell to get back to her. And to have both her and Agarai can be one together. And, I mean... Hopefully, it's not going to be nothing like threatening, but sometimes you have to do a little bit of life threatening things to just, you know, hey, save someone who you not necessarily love, but in a way care about. But still, even though because of the fact that they're so far away, it kind of reminds me of Madoka in a way, when they're far away from their soul stone, they become nothing but an empty shell. But with him, essentially, his um, immortality is listening. His powers are in this thing, so he can't really do anything. He's just, an, like, still in a way, just a regular human, even though he's a half vampire, a half, um, half human person. And it, it's just like, damn, what the fuck can you do? You gotta ask <laughs> my second best girl. Not my first best girl because you called her. Well, no, you didn't even call her. You left her a text message, and I literally froze. Um, but I, I don't know. Well, how the hell are you gonna solve this? I mean... We got one episode left. What the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't
I didn't know that. Usually when you get to Christmas tree, you just start it, like, whenever. Maybe even the day you get it. Okay, I mean, I just gotta say, like, hopefully, nothing really bad happens in this last episode because it's supposed to really... I think it's just going to tie these last three episodes together, but I think overall, once we get to um, Hana Managatari, because I think that's the very last one I have to do before I go into the last season, um, I think mostly that's when it's going to tie everything, really. Each girl's story, because we've gone through Hanekawa, we've gone through Mayoi, we've gone through um, Nadako. We're now in Shinobu's world. We're about to go... Whoever's after Shinobu, which I feel like is Senjo Hara. And then we're going back to Nadako as she has, you know, her white hair. She's possessed by um, the snake demon and everything. That's essentially going to be the ending of it. Uh, I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure because y'all know I don't really know anything until we get there. But I, I think because... I, I, from remembering when I did... Um, Hanekawa's. When I watched Hanekawa's and I finished Hanekawa's and I said, this just feels like the ending of her. This will be probably the last time we see her. And we haven't really seen her since. But until they did that preview with, um, uh, Nadeshko's, um, Nadeko? Nadeshko? I always pronounce her name wrong. What's her face? Girl, girl with the, who, who likes, <laughs> who's secretly in love with Agaragi kun but to the fact that she can't tell him because, you know, yes, yeah, she's in a, he's in a relationship with one of my best girls and da 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 da. But with her, at the end of her episode, and it was in the last one, I believe, they showed that preview. And I feel like that preview is the, um, the Hana Managatari that we're eventually getting to because I feel like we have, as I said, after Shinobu, we have one more and I don't know who it's going to be, but it has to automatically, it has to be. Senjohara, because I don't think it's going to be Kanabu, because I feel like she she's going to get something in maybe the final season, maybe. I don't know, because essentially, we know that, you know, the third years are going to graduate, which is Senjohara, Agaragi, Hanagawa, and then after that, everyone else is going to get ish in that final season. I don't fucking know. We, we ain't going to know until we get there, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. Okay. Episode four and three, two, one, go. She looks so cute in her lap. Oh my god. And so you're going to help. I need fucking eye drops or something because my eyes are like, 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. How the fuck is this one gonna end? I mean, is it gonna surprise me? Yes. Because every single damn show, I mean, well, yeah, series on this show has surprised the fuck out of me. But I don't know. I I'm stumped about what the hell might happen. I mean, because we already, she already knows how this is all going to end. She's like fucking Dr. Strange boy. I mean, you sure about that? I mean, wouldn't you want to fucking know what the three requests are before you do them? Like, Yeah, I mean, I would love to know how Shinobu is doing right now, but are you going to really show me that? No. Okay. Ooh. Seriously? Okay. What's the other request? Just as a friend first. Sure. So then maybe she's gonna be the net her she's gonna get the next story, maybe. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> okay, last.
Why is that? Because the darkness is there? But shouldn't he be with you just to go get Shinobu so they can be together and become one again? I mean, yeah, he can't do anything, but... Then he's... Okay. So is Agaragi from the target now? Then just tell him. It's him. No, it's not Yoi. But then, okay, but why would it be after my way? What the fuck did my way do? Just because she's there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, because see, when it came up, it was immediately after both of you. And so I just assumed it was after Shinobu, never thinking that it was going to be my way. I mean, my way ain't pretend to be no damn god, is she? Because she's a fucking ghost. So then what did my way do that was punishment for her? Besides the ghost shit. Uh. Yeah, just explain.
Because remember, You sure about that? But when they know where they're going, that's when the darkness comes. Yeah. But do you just want to disappear then? Okay. I mean, that gives you two time to talk. Plus one, anyway. My child, how the hell did you have this backstory about Shinobu and Agaragi going in time to save you to this? Like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting this with her! And I love her! She's so adorable, but I can't! I can't imagine her not being here anymore! She's a part of the show! Oh my god, this hurts. I'm gonna cry! I mean, we got to see her when 
she was laughing. Mm. Yes, there is. There's always a way. Let's go. It's worse because they've been playing a song for the past few minutes and it fucking hurts.
I have no words. <laughs> Everything just fucking hurts right now. Oh my god. I didn't even stop anything. I thought that it was after her, but I mean, what's your face getting shit about? But oh my god. But oh my god, no. I wasn't expecting it with these four episodes that my voice gonna fucking disappear. We got like four minutes left. So at least it's gonna give me something to end this. But what the fuck? I, I can't imagine this little girl not being in this show anymore. And they have oh my god, why you do that? I hate you. She's actually gone. I mean, okay, are we gonna see Guyan and, you know, her knees come back together? They're probably good, but... Yeah. Yeah, bye, Ocean of Knees. She is so fucking creepy. Like what? Okay. I, I, I kind of think so too. It's just, it ain't your time yet. We gotta focus on somebody else. And then eventually, her time will come. Yeah. Huh? Even though she's not? Okay. Which was? I miss my little fucking snail. I miss her. It, it just, it feels weird now. There's so many other things I'm going to say, but I'm going to wait.
I'm just hurting so much right now. Like, why? Like, it's just out of all the people, it had to be her. And it, it is fucked up. Like, do not get me wrong. That is majorly fucked up. But I was thinking, like, there could have been another way to save her, to get rid of the darkness, so that she could still be there with them. But because of the fact is the only way that they could stop this darkness was for her to essentially move on and have the darkness be attached to somebody else so many years later. It, it hurts because it's like, okay, I literally have to describe it like this. Let's say you were watching a TV show on CBS, Fox, um, CW, ABC, whatever major network television show, and you have a cast, uh, a main cast of, like, four people. And <laughs> I don't like the fact that I have to say this because it fucking hurts because I'm going to get triggered into so many other shows that I've seen that have done this in the past. So let's just say you have a show with four people who are the four main characters. And let's say by season three or even season four, two out of the four get fired and they continue to the show with just two people as the main characters. Essentially, to me, and because I've seen one of my favorite shows called, um, aka Sleepy Hollow, do this in the past, where they killed off one character, the main character, and they continued on with Ichabod Crane. And essentially, it's like that. Even though Akaragi Kun is the main character, and you have all these other girls who are also the main characters of their specific stories, and then coming in this, like, coming in all together as still either major or minor characters of this story, it just feels weird to have one of these characters be taken out and still continue with this show with all the rest of these except that one character except since now she is gone and it, it, it's gonna feel weird for the next like second the rest of the second season because any time that i'm really going to be talking to talking about her i have to use it as past tense because she's no longer here and it's like it, you know even with the with his niece he was in there wondering she was in there wondering, could there have possibly been something else? Same with the girl, I got um, because he was wondering it. And when she said, you did the right thing, I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, you did the right fucking thing, but there still could have been something else that could have corresponded with her still being here as a ghost, wandering around, and maybe, like, yeah, I don't know, maybe the world would have gone to end, yeah, your friends would have disappeared, and your hot best girl would have disappeared, my second best girl would have disappeared, but she still would have been there. And, I mean, it, it's just going to be a little hard to, like, go into the next series of the second season and not having her there. But then, like, in the back of my mind, I felt like she still... She, she might come back in some way, shape, or form. Maybe, like, at, at the end of Hanamanagatsuri, there's going to be something. And it, it's still, it's sad for me because I really enjoyed her as a character. And it's still, it's just going to be weird. And I, was I expecting to cry with this episode? Hell no. Nah. But because she is one of those, like, really interesting characters. And even though, um, Agaragi, like, and his lolly <laughs> His lolly shit, even though it made me laugh at times, and kind of made me look at him like, what the fuck? Like, you you have, you know, best girl as a girlfriend, yet you're over here trying to get a damn lolly. It still made me laugh, and it, even though it was fucking weird at times, but it, it's just gonna be really weird and really upsetting that she's not really gonna be in this show. But I know some of y'all in the comments, plus the Patreons, are probably gonna say some shit when this comes out on Friday and be like, hey, this ain't gonna be the last time you see her, but essentially, it, it does feel like this is the last time that we're possibly never gonna see her again, hence why I'm starting to cry. And you see, like, it was worse because her opening, her song came on, and it's like, goddamn, like, here we go, here's the fucking song again, and it's just like, uh, it, it just fucking hurts, and I'm really gonna miss her a lot, but you know, hey, when she comes to my, my, <laughs> Maggie got recording, and when she finally comes home, because I want her, plus Sanjohada, and freaking, um, 
not Nicola. Really, I want all six girls now because I love them all very dearly. But when they all come home, it's going to be the happiest day. But when my boy comes home, knowing myself, I'm probably going to fucking cry because I'm going to be like, oh my God, my child, who essentially isn't here anymore, is finally home with me <laughs> in my group of magical girls. And it's going to be the best day ever. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards Oh No Monogatari, even though, like, let me just say this before I even, like, continue with my spinoff and ending and shit. Um, it started out as really just being Shinobu's story. Uh, it's still all Shinobu's time, essentially, when I, I remember, like, with the first half of, um, Bakke Managatsuri and how they were doing that shit with, like, Hanekawa's episode and stuff. And I was like, okay, this is supposed to be uh, Hanekawa. Why the fuck are we going with, like, Aragi-kun and you know, such a hot on this date, but everybody was like, no, it makes sense, like, you'll see later on. It, it was essentially that with this episode, or really, in a way, it was. I, I just, I never would have imagined that it was her that this darkness was coming out of, and essentially, I was thinking the whole entire time, Shinobu, and then you fucked me over, but, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Magical Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreons, and next Monday for everybody else for, I believe, I don't even remember, hold on, let me, no, let me just look on my phone, let me look on my damn phone, because the fact is there was no subtitles, and I don't want to fucking guess on my own, <laughs> that was my hair, <laughs> I don't want to watch, I want to fucking guess the show on my own, what's the next one that I have to watch, so, we're on, we just finished, oh no, we koi koi monogatari koi monogatari yeah koi monogatari because we're almost done so yeah i'll see you guys officially all next time bye